Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. In this video, I'm going to give an overview of our new chapter which is electrostatic in medium. Okay, we know that the electrostatic field medium has a characteristic of a consisting electric field only and it is independent of time. And uh, in previous uh, lesson, we know that the electrostatic field is generated by a charge. Here, I indicate the charge as a rho V, which is a volume charge density. And this rho V can produce an electric field intensity and electric field density. Besides uh, this parameter, you also learn the important parameter in electrical world, which is the potential. And you learn how much energy is stored in a system. And the system of charge contains the electrostatic field. This all element that we talk before is related to a medium. And in the previous chapter, the medium that we consider is a free space medium. So the permittivity of free space is epsilon naught. But in reality, we have another medium okay in general we do have a medium which is a conductor semiconductor and dielectric okay so in this chapter we are going to look at the conductor and the dielectric material. Uh, we didn't cover the semiconductor material in this course because we assume that you will learn more about semiconductor in electronic subject. So now, how can we categorize a medium? Okay, to categorize a medium, uh, the main principle is you need to have uh, three things. Okay. The first one is the material itself. So, or the medium itself. Okay. So, one is the medium. Okay. The second one is the applied field. Okay, in this case, because we are learning the electrostatic field, we are going to look into the E and D. And the third important thing is the charged particle itself. Rho, our rho, V. So, these are the three things that are very important to identify or to categorize the medium. Okay, for example, if this charge is moving due to the applied field, we will say the medium is a conductor. But if this charge is static, even though we give uh, the field, then we can say that this medium is dielectric. So, from here, you need to remember that these three things is important to identify the uh, medium in this electrostatic uh, area. 
Okay, the content uh, for the electrostatic in medium is divided into four. The first one is current. Okay, and in this sub chapter, you will learn to develop three models or equation of current. Okay, and the second one is conductor. Okay, this is the second content. And inside this conductor subtopic, you will learn about uh, conductivity. Conductivity, which is uh, sigma. And then the resistance. Okay, the resistance in this conductor. Okay, and uh, you're going to... Uh, look at the conductor under static medium and then you will learn about how the charge will or how the electric uh, field will propagate from conductor to free space boundary. Okay. So the third one, if you have conductor, then another one is dielectric. Okay, this is another subtopic. And under sub this subtopic, you will learn about dielectric under static condition and the second one is you are going to investigate how the electric field is propagate okay, from one dielectric to another dielectric medium eh? okay so um, you have the current conductor dielectric the last one we will look into the application of this knowledge and the application of this uh, need to have a scenario where it can consist of a free space, dielectric, then conductor at the same time. So, in that case, we will look it into the capacitor since capacitor can have those elements or various mediums at one time. So, this is the overall subchapter that we'll cover in this topic. So, that's all for this video. Thank you.